Hi guys, I hope you're all having a good weekend so far. It's Saturday night and um, everybody's just kind of relaxing watching TV. It's pretty late, it's after nine. <laughs> yeah, that's late for me. <laughs> I'm usually getting ready for bed right now, um, especially like on the school nights, but it's Saturday night, so not quite ready for bed just yet. But um, I just wanted to make a quick video and get the girls ready for bed. Um, I don't think I've ever made a video getting them ready for bed in pajamas, so I thought it'd be fun. Um, I don't know if this is going to go up tonight or tomorrow morning, but it is nighttime here, so I am going to get the girls ready for bed. And I'm just going to do both girls in the same video. Um, so first we're going to change Caitlin. And I just picked up this adorable pajama set at Walmart. Look how cute this is! And then it has these matching pants. Isn't that adorable? It is size six to nine months, but six to nine months fit these bigger um, newborns. Um, and look, only four ninety seven. Like I cannot pass up an elephant pajamas for four ninety seven. Get that tag off. Um, so, and then. And then Gracie is also going to wear some pajamas that match. Well, not match, but they're the same same type of pajamas. But this is what she was, Caitlin's been wearing. This adorable overall outfit. One of my favorite type of outfits. Can I have your passy? Um, so we had a pretty eventful day today. My poor dog, Ivan... Um, for those of you that don't know, Ivan is my Biva. If you're not familiar with that breed, you can Google it. It's spelled B-I-E-W-E-R. Um, so my Biva, my Ivan, got a sticker up his paw yet again. So I had to take him to the vet again. And my mom... Um, thank God for my mom let me use her credit card. Otherwise, I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> um, so yeah, so my mom let me use her credit card. And we took Ivan to the vet, and he had another sticker. And now his paw is infected. Ugh. And this is the second time in a month that this has happened. So... Poor Ivan is on antibiotics now, again. Oh, and poor thing, oh my goodness, you guys, his paw is so swollen, it's so sad to see him in so much pain. You know, there's only so many things you can do for a dog. Um, so the doctor did give him a shot of, what do they call it? Ugh. I'm sorry guys, I can't think right now what it's called. Um, but he did give him a shot of a pain medication. And, oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't know he was going to give him that. And if I would have known he was going to give him that, and if I would have known the price before he gave him that, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Because that shot, get ready for this, you guys, $65 for that shot of pain medication. Now, I guess the vet you know, must have thought that he, he really needed that shot. Um, so I guess maybe he did. Um, but I really wish he would have gone over it with me before he just did it and then charged me for it. He basically, what he did, he just came into the room, looked at Ivan's paw, and then said, yeah, there's a sticker, we've got to get it out, I'm going to take him to the back room. And last time Ivan had a paw, they didn't take him to the back room. They just took the sticker out right there in front of me. So, he just basically, basically said, well, I'm going to take him back to get the sticker taken care of, and I'll be right back with your dog. So, we waited about 10 minutes, and he came back. He's okay, and he showed me the sticker, and it was a pretty big one. So, I know it had to come out, and then um, my dog was bleeding everywhere, which last time he had a sticker taken out last month, he didn't bleed. He only bled when they took it out and then he didn't bleed again after that and I asked the doctor why there was so much blood and he said um, <clears throat> because there was a, a blood 
bubble in his paw. Ugh, so, anyway, so yeah, so he bled, and then he bled in the car, and I had to get the, wash the blood out of the car, but, um, so I was really unhappy with how much bleeding there was this time versus last time, and the doctor just basically said that that that's, that's how bad the sticker was, so I don't know. Sometimes I guess you just gotta believe what the vet says. But anyway, so when I got my bill, um, and they told me, you know, why everything cost what it did, I was like, wow, that pain medication was sick. I'm like, was that necessary? And they said, well, yeah, your dog was in a lot of pain, which I, I know that, I understand that, but come on, you guys. $65 and it's only temporary like only for like a couple hours is it just me you guys or what would you have done uh, I don't know I don't know what I would have done if he would have that doctor would have given me an option I don't know but um, needless to say I wasn't too happy about the vet bill today but it is what it is I guess not much you can do about it. But anyway, so luckily, overall, Ivan was out of pain for that short while. And we got the pod taken care of, and he's good as new. Um, so what we're going to try to do to prevent it from happening again is I'm going to have to take him to the groomer to get his um, underpaws shaved. And that's another thing I don't understand. The vet's going to charge me that much. Why don't you guys just do it for me? You know and shave underneath all his paws he's like a yorkie his hair grows like a yorkie so it will just keep growing and growing and growing and so all the fur underneath the paw will just it will never stop growing so you have to cut it and the vet said yeah i recommend that you take him to a groomer and get the fur cut and keep it cut so why they couldn't do it there i don't know i guess maybe because it's not their job i don't know <sighs> okay you guys enough rambling about ivan <laughs> Here's Miss Caitlin, and I love these pajamas. I'm sorry, you guys. I was supposed to be a changing video of my babies, and I just rambled on about Ivan the whole time. <laughs> I was pretty upset about it. Okay, but anyways, so here she is with her little elephant pajamas. Oh my god, he's so cute. Oh my goodness. Look how beautiful you are. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to move her. <clears throat> I'm going to move her over so that... We can change Gracie. <laughs> oh my goodness, girl, you look so cute in this outfit. Okay. Come on, Gracie, girl. Oh, your hair is a hot mess, isn't it? Gracie, oh my goodness, look at this dress on you. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are going to put Gracie in these pajamas. And Caitlin just wore these a few days ago. <laughs> but I love these. Oh, you know what? I don't think this is going to fit her. Oh, the pants are as big as she is. Oh well, we're going to... We're just going to see what happens. Sometimes I forget that Gracie is newborn size. She's not, you know, the size of a three-month-old like Caitlin is. Because there are some clothes that they can share. But sometimes I forget that, you know, when Caitlin wears something that's a little big on her, and I try to put it on Gracie, it's like really big on her. Okay, so we're just gonna put on her and see what happens. And if she swims in it for the night, it won't hurt her. <laughs> well, let's put your socks on first. Uh, I was just telling my husband how much I love weekends. And one reason why I love weekends is because it's somewhat stress-free because we're not worrying about doctor's appointments or appointments with a lawyer, or the kids going to school, and homework, and, you know, bill people calling and demanding their money. <laughs> you know, it's just a time that we can just relax with the family, kind of do our own thing, 
and just kind of forget about everyday life for just a couple of days. And my husband said, yes, I agree. We just, we got so many doctor stuff going on, especially with my husband. And we just, we had two meetings last week or three? Either two or three meetings last week. Um, one was with our lawyer, another one was with my husband's doctor. And um, so, and I don't even know what this week is gonna hold, but I just, all I know is we're enjoying our weekend and that's why I'm staying up a little bit late. Oh goodness, look at you. <laughs> it's a little big on here, but look how cute it is. Are we still recording? Okay, good. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is just, you know, a time where we can just forget about everything for a little while. Um, but after I'm done changing these babies, I'm going to see if my computer is free. And if it is, I'm gonna try to get this video uploaded before the night's over. If not, I will get it up tomorrow. But I think I'm just ready to go to bed now and play some games on my phone and watch some TV. And we'll see what happens with tomorrow. No headband. Babies don't need headbands when they're going to bed. Although they sure look pretty when they wear them, huh? Maybe you need a headband. Do you want a headband? Let's see what we got. I made some new ones. And um, I'm going to get them advertised. Let's put this one on here. Oh, that is cute. Maybe you do need a headband. Well, you don't need one, but Mama wants you to have one. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And I got this pacifier for her. You probably don't even want a pacifier, huh? You just want to hold it? Yeah, you can hold your pacifier. There you go. And then here's her dolly. And actually, let's scoot you over so we can get your sister next to you. We'll put this over here. Okay, Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin has to have her caterpillar and her elephant. Well, your elephant's in the way, so maybe we should get rid of the elephant for just a few minutes. Okay, Caitlin? I'm sorry guys, it looks like I'm being really rough with the babies. Just trying to get them in the camera together. Since they both got changed. <laughs> this isn't working too well. There. Do we got a good picture here? Let me see. Well, that's about as good as we're gonna get. Huh. Maybe if I bring the camera over here. Now you gotta look this way. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I think that's as good as we're gonna get. But, um, all right. Well, there's the babies all ready for bed. I'm gonna go move them to the bassinet in the playroom and get my bed cleaned off. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.